All right, so I'm over here at a call um, out here in Concord. Some um, new unit, essentially, no, not newer unit, 2018 train system XR. Hold on. Damn it. 2018 train XR system. So, um, it was a 2018 train XR system. Um, basically, I got my indoor probes on there, I got my um, psychometers already set up, and um. I'm getting um, about 11 degrees split, 10 to 11 degrees split. So check the coil; it's not frozen. So I'm continuing to work. Um, so if I look here, leads me to believe. Yeesh! Hold on, stupid snake. Alrighty. All right, so basically the model number 42, so it's going to be a um, three and a half ton TXV. So I've got my pressures and temperatures in. Um, the world. Right off the bat, I would venture to say this is actually a TXV issue. I'm thinking either the sensing bulb. Um, could be lost it could have lost its charge or essentially it might be clogged it might be the actual um there's a restriction somewhere in the TXV if I had to imagine um I don't see the dryer on here let me check up check up in the attic and see if there's a dryer on it But yeah, um, that's definitely going to be a restriction somewhere going on here. Okay. I don't feel much any difference in temperature at all. Let me see if I can um, access this expansion valve here. Oh, great. Well, you look at that. That's going to make it real fun to get this off here. I don't even know if it's going to be possible. Nope. Nope, not at all. So how am I gonna... There's the sensing bulb there. We should be able to. See here.
Yeah, it's making good contact. Sensible. This suction line warms up due to low charge or whatever. This will it'll heat the refrigerant in here. Superheat the refrigerant that's in this sensing bulb. Hence that pressure will push down in the power head that's in this on the CXV um, closing. Uh, I mean, sorry, opening the TXV. So right now, the automatic force, which is done by a spring in this here equalizer line, those two forces are pushing to close it. So if I've got nothing in here, it's nothing that's going to open it. Hence why you see such crazy. That's why I know it's the TXV because the subcooling is so high, the head pressure is so high. So essentially, it's um, basically acting as a restriction. Well, uh, I hope this one was kind of helpful for you. I know a lot of guys, a lot of videos talk about TXVs, which re you rarely see any videos demonstrating it in the field, um, demonstrating the actual se symptoms and, you know, how it actually looks in practice. So I figured I'd try to capture this one. The reason being is probably because most of the times when, when, when we do diagnose a TXV issue, it's not 100% certainty until it's actually replaced. It's one of those things. Um, but I'm pretty sure that this is a TXV issue um, with this uh, with this uh, call. So I'll definitely be um, doing a follow-up on this video and doing the replacement and, you know, letting you know how it all worked out. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one. All right, bye.